Hi, in this episode I'm going to show you how to create a textured effect in your map products. For this I'm using data from OpenStreetMap, but any data will do fine. One thing though, completely black and completely white will be important. I prepared a layout in the Print Composer, and as you may guess, I'm going for a Lord of the Rings theme. First of all, I need to add my texture. This is simply an image file with a photo of a paper or texture you want to use. I'm careful when placing my image so I can repeat the placement in a later stage. Then I add my image file, which in this case don't cover all the layout, but I think I'll get away with stretching the image in this case. Next step is to place the image behind all other items. In order to get the effect of the map being printed on the background, I use rendering. I use multiply, which will take the color value of every pixel and multiply it with the pixel value of the background. This is when the use of black becomes important. Let's take the title as an example. It is black and therefore it doesn't matter what's in the background. By changing the color to grey, the background will start to shine through, even if it isn't apparent in this case. And there we have a finished example of a map that is completely inside a textured paper. Let's take another example. With this texture, some of the map layout is outside the paper, and there's even a few holes in it. To fix this, I use another render layer. So I've created a copy of the background in GIMP, where the areas I want to see is completely black, and the areas I want to cut is completely white. I add this image above all other layers, so that it exactly matches the background. Then I use Screen as a renderer for the image, and then I'm done. See you next time.